video why I left the rap game. <laughs> now we're on our way to uh, one of the lookout points here around where I live. I want to show you guys pretty much where I live. Nice change of scenery. It's beautiful out there. Get ready. All right, we just arrived to the lookout point here in Alto Pass. I'm here to talk about why I quit music, why I stepped away from music. Let me tell you that I was not excited about it. Man, shout out to Sonic doing a thing. Anywho, I'll just start by saying it pretty much consumed my life where everything was about music. That's all I wanted to do. I ain't care if I got fired from work. Just wanted to make some damn music. I think I'm good at it. I think I have a shot making it into something. Maybe not a full-time career. I'm getting heard. I've gained supporters and fans and it's a crazy feeling. I stepped away because life became overwhelming. I didn't have a life. It was just music. A lot of things got put on the back burner. I'm here to kind of talk about my new game plan coming into this. So other than the fact that I was consumed with it and nothing else really got done for like the whole year, yeah, that's basically the the big picture of it. You know, like when I start, so I've done it. I've done it before. Started things. I'm good at it, and I just get completely overwhelmed. I get so into it where there's like nothing else going on in the world. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. In this case, it wasn't the best thing. I love making music. I love starting a project, and then when you hear it all done, and you're like, wow, that's awesome. I can't believe I did that. It's awesome. Another thing is, me and my uh, fiance, we're getting married in uh, three weeks. I'm super excited about that. I needed time to focus on this wedding. Getting married is a stressful deal. You have one shot at making it a good day. I didn't do most of the planning. I picked a few things. Shout out to my fiance. She's the real MVP. Just mentally, I was just so like, music this, music that. Now that I've gotten a break from it for a little while, I've been clear headed and been able to think about a lot of other things. The wedding is a big deal. Also coming October 12th is the due date for me and my fiance's first child. We're having a girl. We just found out a couple weeks ago. Super excited about that. We're, um, you know, getting nursery ready, getting baby toys, getting baby clothes, all that type of stuff. We're both new to this and that's another thing. It's super overwhelming. You know, there's a lot going on. A lot of stuff. When I say I became overwhelmed with the music, I'm talking about the nitty gritty behind the scenes stuff that a lot of people don't see. I busted my ass to try to make a name really fast and I became overwhelmed with a lot of things. I'll give you an example of the majority of the things that I was overwhelmed with. Lots of marketing, lots of advertising. There's always something to do if you wanna get to the next step. Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, those things play an important part of all this because that's how you get heard as a musician other than doing shows, but it all starts somewhere. I had my own Facebook, my music page. I had another page, which I'll get into in a second. My Instagram. I had another Instagram, which I'll get into in a second. My YouTube, another YouTube, which I will get into that in just a second. That's like seven things, eight things that have to be kept up with almost every day if you want to succeed. I wanted to succeed more than anything. And now I think I have enough supporters where when my new game plan comes into effect, I think everything will work out fine. I think everything's going to be golden. The other part of the overwhelming situation is that my producer, Loki Beats, made an offer to me saying, let's start this website, countryrapbeats.com. Some of y'all might know it, some, some might not. It's basically a sister company to Loki Beats. He also has beatdispensary.com. We started a page, countryrapbeats.com, which I was the face of the company. I was the face of the brand. It all started because he was a hip hop trap rap producer. Never touched country rap beats, never touched any kind of beats like that. Well, when I approached him, you know, he was up for the challenge and he killed it. That's how our relationship kind of started. Then it just progressed and progressed. As I got more beats, we talked more, became friends. He's actually a friend of mine now, a good friend of mine. So we started countryrapbeats.com. That required a YouTube that had to be uploaded every time a new beat was made. Every beat that I didn't get went on there, which he was throwing them out like crazy. 
there were a lot of a lot of beats up there really fast. So you're talking about uploading beats to YouTube, keeping up with the Instagram, trying to promote the business, a Facebook, its own Facebook, country rap beat, on top of my own stuff. On top of making pictures like cover art, making video, it was overwhelming. That's basically the only word I have for it. With my new game plan that I'm going to explain in just a second, I'll be able to think clear. The biggest thing about it is the quality that I'm going to be able to put out because that's my ultimate goal. I don't want to put a bunch of songs out like I did at the beginning of my career. When I first started, I was knocking songs out left and right, and that was only for me. That's because I felt like if I was good enough and I was getting, you know, somebody wanted to book me for a show, I would have enough material to do a show. I got songs out left and right. I'm proud of them. They're not my best work. You know, everybody starts somewhere and then as they keep going and keep going, practice makes perfect. You get better and better. I don't think there's ever a point you get to where you're satisfied with what you're doing. Hence, tattoo, never satisfied. You always want more out of life, anything. So that's just the general statement. With this new game plan, my goal is to write music. I'm gonna record music again, but this time, I'm not gonna rush anything. There's not gonna be project, there's not gonna be song after song after song coming out. It's gonna be one song, I'm gonna push the shit out of it for a month, two months, three months. Shit, maybe six months. I got a baby coming in October. I ain't gonna have a whole lot of time to be uh, promoting music. I think the best part about this is that the quality that's gonna come out I feel like I'm gonna be able to put out my best work. And that's the main thing because you guys are supporting me, you guys are following me, you guys are the ones sharing my music. I can only share it so much. Without y'all, I don't have nothing. I can't share it to all the people you know. I don't know them. Supporters, fans, y'all are the reason we get to get views, you know? We get paid from YouTube, which I don't get paid from YouTube. I'm still working my way to get there. But in time, everything will come. If it's meant to be, it'll be. I almost lost my damn drink. Dunsky, that was good. I want to put out the best quality for you guys. Why would I want to put out crap? Or why would I want to put out projects that are rushed? At the beginning, you know, you don't really know what's going on. I had no idea. I had no clue. I just kind of sat back and watched how other people did it, took notes, and did my thing. I'll have moderations. It's not going to be, a, I'm not going to put so many ducks in a row. Maybe three ducks. Not 157 ducks. So to sum it all up, that's the reason I left. This is the official video that I'm making my comeback. I don't know when my next song's gonna drop. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, it could be three weeks, but no, it's coming. I promise, it's gonna be the best work I've ever done. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. I appreciate the people still holding on. I'm still in shock from day one to where I'm at now. I also wanted to say something, I forgot. I remember now. I know I left out of the blue. I know I left, it was unexpected. I just wanna say I apologize to everyone who supported me, everybody who shared my stuff, liked it, commented, told their buddies about me. I am sorry that it happened like that sometimes shit happens people get overwhelmed there's a lot of things in life that we don't expect and they happen you deal with them and then you keep on trucking so that's what i'm doing i'm keeping on keeping on i ain't going nowhere share this video let everybody know where the truth is back baby it's game time